Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to day 16. Teach yourself test automation. I am teaching myself Selenium web driver with Java and I hope you're, you're coming along. Us test analysts need to sharpen our skill sets, right? We need to become more technical. So I'm starting off with teaching myself uh, a test automation tool. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today we are handling static drop downs. Okay, now the question will be you could ask yourself static drop down. What is a static drop down? How do you know you're dealing with a static drop down? Okay, and um, if we head over to Facebook because we're going to be using Facebook to demonstrate this. Okay, so go to Facebook, Facebook.com, copy that for later. Now, birthday, right? Birthday, birth month, birth year, right? All those are drop downs, right? Now, if we inspect this, so we're inspecting that drop down, right? Now, if the tag name starts with select, then you drop down, right? That you're dealing with a static drop down, okay? Is that, is that simple and straightforward, right? So now we know we are dealing with. Uh, a static drop down for the Facebook page. We are going to use this. So let's get a live example going with the Facebook page. Okay, so let's head to Eclipse, get a live demo going. Let's start ourselves another test case. So we we'll open the class, we we'll name this static drop drop down. Right, and then we take our public static void name, finish, and we head over back to our previous test cases. We copy the two most common or the two common uh, lines of code from every test case. Right, one is setting the uh, properties for the uh, Google uh, Chrome driver and also creating drivers and object right so the first thing we want to do is launch the facebook website we're going to be doing dealing with right so driver get string in there with passing facebook oh there's loads of rubbish that came through on that so we want to delete that Get. Go back to Facebook and copy this. Copy. Back in there. That's more like it. Now, the Selenium guys have come up with a, a class which is the select class, right? That has all the methods you will use to interact with static drop downs right and there is a, a regular uh, syntax that's used for the creation of this select class okay so the syntax goes like select s which is just the object new select select Now that's the syntax, right? And if you see, you've got some um, <coughs> some errors here, right? So if you hover over that, hover over the select, that's a bit slow. It would ask you to import this select package, okay? So you import that. And now within this select uh, class you're trying to create, in this argument you need to pass the location of the element so of the drop down that you're going to be dealing with you want to pass the location of that element in there right so you can use an id you can use xpath you can use all your location strategies right to identify that location on the um, so we're going to be using facebook so we're going to identify that element uh, or that object that drop down static drop down um, object and we're going to drop it in there okay so let's go back to our facebook page i'm going to use 
birthday so we we'll inspect that and we are going to write i think we should just write an expert ourselves right okay so we just go control find we go backslash backslash you start with the select tag name so select you select right and you want to go square brackets at rate so we want to use name okay we we'll use name as our uh, location strategy okay so name is equals to value in single quotation so we want to copy that and we want to put it in here and I want to close our square brackets and hopefully this highlights our desired element and that's it highlighted okay see hover over that and that's highlighted okay so we have written our export we want to copy this export and this is what we're going to be using to identify our our element within our select class okay so we want to drop it in here so what we want to do is we want to write driver dot find element by you see by dot xpath right we want to open our close our brackets and we want to drop our xpath in there right now that's you all set you set up your select class object and you've told it which a element you're going to be dealing with on the Facebook page and now you want to use the select methods you've just created right so if you type s dot select so you can select select by index okay so if you go select by index it's a few ways you can do it right so we're going to use that use select by index we're going to use select by visible text and you're going to use a select by value i think it is uh, we'll find that out okay so if we head back to facebook which i have closed just now no nope, it's still open if we inspect that again i just want to show you what the index select by index means right so all these values in here from zero right the way down to 31 right so num in, uh, numbers of the days of month right uh, zero is the index indexing starts with zero right so zero is going to be day right and one is going to be one and two is going to be two okay so if we pass in zero here you should expect to see day selected okay so if we run this so remember we are doing a select now by index okay if we run this now, we should be able to see day selected for the birthday on the Facebook page. Okay, so fingers crossed. Launch the Facebook. I think the default is three. Keep your eyes on that. See, it's changed from three to day. So we've selected using we've selected a birth day using or selected by index right so let's try and do another one right so just copy that out and go s dot select so we're going to select by visible text okay visible text and in here once pass this in an argument right so visible text so again let's use day okay you remember it's a default three right so we use day because this is the text visible text right so it will be one it will be day it will be one it will be two right so let's use day right and we run that so right click runners java application okay so again, we should default from three to one. I mean, three to a day. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. 
There we go again, defaulted from three today, right? Excellent. So, and the last one I want to show you, or I want to talk through is select duct, select by, oh, can I even type? Select s dot select. So select by value, right? Now select by value. It just means I think the values go as per the numbers, right? So if I put a five in here, if we go back here, if I put a five, it's a five that's gonna get selected, okay? So let's get in a five. And go right click, run as Java application. Say okay. So this is what dealing with select drop down. You know, this is how you do you do a, a select your methods. I mean any any interaction with drop downs, static drop downs, this is what you do. So there's three ways to do it value, index, and uh, visible text. Okay. And there's a lot of other methods you can do, but those are the three we see today. So We'll keep our eyes on that we went from three to five okay so thank you for watching this video um if this has been of any uh, value to you uh, don't forget to subscribe because more videos are coming out uh, hope you're enjoying um well keeping up with what we're trying to do on this on this channel on this on this um blog which is uh, uh, spreading spreading the, the awareness of a uh, you trying to update your screen set so you're you're staying relevant with the job market okay and also uh, relevant within any organization you're working in if anything could change and you find yourself without a job you'll be straight back into the into into a job um, if if you've kept your kept your your, your skill sets up to date with whatever is out in the market okay so thanks again for watching and um yeah don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon when i get when i release videos you will get you'll be notified by them okay um yes thank you very much and uh, stay blessed okay bye